there's a whole dashboard. You can see exactly what it is, how much money we've donated to them. Um, and so that's a bit our, um, our purpose. We just try to help around Australia as much as we can. Who, uh, how many, like, are the resources that you're doing at the moment uh, on the coast? Like, how many people are here on the Sunshine Coast? Of my sales? Of the, um, sorry, of the products. So, of the products that you're selling, how many oh. of them are, are from local providers? Um, I should have a look on my website. Because we were just categorizing them all um, per state, too. Um, I wouldn't know. I don't have my head. Maybe around 10, 15 suppliers. Yeah. Okay. They all have products. So then they all have their own range. Yeah. 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 That's nice. And any, do you know whether any of them are set up as social enterprises or not for profits or anything like that? So, and that's not, that's not one of my suppliers, but the, um, what's it called? 10 Little Pieces. Have you heard of her? No. Like she educates um, kids on sustainability. Mm. And like I know she was a non-for-profit, but she actually said it's really hard to be a non-for-profit with all the regulations and mm. all the work. And like, because I, I haven't looked into it myself. Um, but I don't think, I, like the companies I support are mostly families and I don't think they are non-for-profits, but probably 90% of all the Aussie families, they do support a cause. Mm. So or it's 1% for the planet they do, or they plant a tree with every purchase. Like everyone yeah. has a purpose to their business. Something, yeah, like that's nice. I like that. It's uh... so we do, at the, When you check out online for us, you we say $1 of whatever you buy, even if you buy one toothbrush, whatever, we donate $1 to a cause that you can choose. And we have a selection made ourselves. So we've got um, Feed Aussies. Um, we've got Save the Reef and Restore Our Land. And so nice. you can just click on, on whichever one that you prefer that we donate to. And then yeah. and it, there's a whole dashboard. You can see exactly what it is, how much money we've donated to them. Um, and so that's a bit our, um, our purpose. We just try to help around Australia as much as we can. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah. And out of interest, the dashboard, is that powered by a, like another company, like a third-party yeah. product? Yeah. yeah. Is, it, is that Little Phil? Because I, I think there's some product called no. Little Phil that does this. It's oh, okay. I change. It's called oh. iChange. iChange. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like that idea, like having uh, the ability to be able to pick and choose. Like that's something that um, yeah. if I succeed in my mission to, to get this video streaming platform running, um, the goal with Flicks for Good is to raise money and awareness for different causes, you know, yeah. here here and all over the world. And, um, and, and I already know that whether I buy a pre-built kind of product that we tinker and make into it or we build it from scratch, that the technology is there to support us to have the ability so that people who subscribe could actually nominate you know what direction they want their portion yeah. of money that gets raised to go to because otherwise you know you're like okay um like there's something about like a cat refuge or something and you might hate cats and you're just like well i don't want to <laughs> like it's not, not beneficial for me to do it yeah exactly and i thought, like we looked every month we were looking for different um charities to donate to but it's very hard to track your impact so what yeah. I like about them is that you can really see since we launched it and we only launched this one about is it two or three weeks ago maybe. If I go in there now, I can see how much we've donated to which cause. Um, if the $1 feeds two Aussies, for example, you know, like we can really, really measure our impact, which is great because we, we do all this. We ship carbon neutral. We have no plastic in our packaging either. Even our, our shipping labels are biodegradable. So you can, everything that we send to you, like there's no landfill, then we offset the emissions too. So there was really for us a last part of how can we donate when people buy from us? How can we actually donate and do good with it? 
Mm, yeah. yeah. So talk to me about the, um, I guess, those sorts of elements, the carbon neutral component. Um, yeah. do you, in terms of the shipping, so you, you achieve that also through another provider, I believe I read and I can't remember whether I put it in the description, yeah. but um, who, who are they? So Sendle does it and Australia Post does it. Okay. And it's 100% um, that they offset it, so it's by planting trees. Um, they have, like on their pages, they have everything exactly they do and how they measure it. So that was really important. When we launched, we never um, we never launched with any other companies. I went straight with Sendle because they that's their core. That's how they launched their business. Yeah. Uh, and then other companies followed. Yeah. 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 That's really good. Um, and have you um, tell me? Have you made like friends? I guess specifically because of what you're doing, like the products that you sell. Or has that have has that I guess become a, a thing? Um, like friends, I think more, um, because the friends I made around here, it's probably more when I, when I moved here, I joined, um, surfing mums. Oh yeah. Yep. Um, and like most of my friends here are friends that I know through surfing together or, yeah. um, having a coffee or do something active together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I find more, I met a lot of businesses, which I really, really absolutely love. And also, if I can help them to be more sustainable, that's really I find it one of my personal goals. Like, how can I help other businesses? And I guess that's also because I have my master's in business coaching. I think that's still a part of me. I, I would love to help be, people to be more sustainable in their life, which is go for zero, but also in their business, which is like yeah. my personal goal yeah. also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Well, I think we should talk more uh, offline about this idea of getting a – a social enterprise, not for profit kind of startup, uh, like a sorry, not a startup, a um, uh, what's it called meetup, uh, like a meetup group, um, yeah. happening here on the coast. And uh, I mean, you have to figure out the COVID nineteen things, but otherwise, you know, the guys at Willie's, um, they had said that they, you know, they've yeah. got space there, so we could potentially do something. So if anybody's watching, yeah. by the way, and you um, are on the Sunshine Coast, please reach out because this is just a concept that. I've just plucked out of the air. I thought, you know, it'd be interesting just to find other people who are interested in these sorts of things. And, you know, I guess um, like a chamber of commerce, but not maybe, actually, I, was, I won't say that because the chamber here is actually very good in Cleandra. So yeah. I was going to say maybe not as dry, but some some chambers are a bit dry. Here they are very, very active and um, yeah. Olivia is doing a great job. But um, I think, yeah, just the social enterprise space is an area that, a lot of people don't know about and it's oh. more people need to know like what it is and I guess get an understanding and appreciation uh, you know like even within my friendship circle uh I was kind of taken aback a little bit with the reaction from some people like because I said oh, okay I want to set up this video streaming thing you know I want to do it as a social enterprise that so will give half the profit at least half the profit to the causes that we're supporting um and they were like, oh, I think you should be giving 70 or 80%. And I was just like, well, you know, like I, I'll be honest, like I'm not like I'm not giving enough to be just a complete not-for-profit, right, and just like and, and, and work, work for minimum wage. But also I'm not, I guess, as greedy as like to go like full for-profit and just try to make bucket loads of cash. Um, yeah. I'd like to try and do something that's sort of in the middle. So like I'm not here to make i'm not here to get rich but at the same time i'm not anti-money do you know what i mean so yeah, yeah. Um, you have to be your family. like i that's what i feel more like i want to support as many people as i can and i have to say with the money that comes in for us every time i can i take on a new brand so i'm just trying to grow the business and i can't say like we downsized from our apartment we went to a two-bed apartment um just to be able to fund the business more like i mm. think I think that it's easy to do when you have a, a real purpose with your business. Yeah. yeah. It's an important part. And um, like it's it's too small with our two kids and us, it's too small. So we definitely um we're looking for a change. But um I I, I don't know, it's just money's not a driver. For me it's definitely the purpose. And I get up every day, I get up at four to start working before my kids get up. And you cannot do it if well, I don't think you can do it if you're just in it for the money. Mm. I think you have that purpose and you really want to make a change and like we want to really be the biggest store a zero waste store like then 
then you get up. You've got that drive and that fire in your belly um, to be better and be good, but it's not like I won't be a millionaire with this, and I'm totally fine. I prefer to get more brands on and support more people and donate more and just be yeah. able to my little kids and, and have a nice life. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah, so, so good. I mean, and these are the things that actually really bring people happiness. And, you know, I worked in recruitment for six years and I interviewed a lot of people and definitely um, people were most driven by a sense of purpose. And I, I feel like myself, like I'm so like focused on what I'm doing that, um, you know, the, the naysayers and the people on the sidelines who think I've lost my mind and everything else, like I'm just like I'm just going for it because I can see the impact that I'm about to make and all I need to do is get other people to believe in it. Hey, look, yeah. um, I've just noticed the time that we're almost at the, uh, <laughs> the magical hour mark. Um, so, look, thank you so, so much for coming. Thank you for working with me and the time shift and all the stuff with Facebook and scheduling and, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, and thank you for all the education about um about the cup, live, the cup <laughs> yeah 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 and try to live toxin free um yeah but i'll definitely pop on down there sometime to say good day and uh, in person and uh look forward to trying some of your products and everybody else who watches this um get on there go for zero and uh and get yourself happening toxin free thank you so Thanks much for coming Thanks see you later bye. bye 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 everybody See you next time. Remember, share the show with your mates.